let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. After the UK saw gas prices at around 85 cents per therm at the start of the year, high global demand and reduced supply has driven prices up to a record high, with prices at one point hovering around $4.88 per therm. The high cost of wholesale gas saw several UK energy firms collapse, while others called on the government to help keep businesses and industries running. In comes Russian President Vladimir Putin to the rescue on Wednesday, as he announced that his country would boost supplies to Europe. His comments helped drop gas prices to around $3.65 a therm later in the day. The recent record high gas price in the UK was behind the collapse of a total of nine energy suppliers in recent weeks, affecting nearly 1.73 million customers in September alone. Most of the companies that went under are smaller firms and unable to deliver price promises to customers due to the surge in gas prices. Over in Afghanistan, hundreds of Afghans flocked to the passport office in the capital Kabul a day after the Taliban announced that it would reopen to issue travel documents. Taliban soldiers were seen fighting the crowds in an effort to maintain order on Wednesday. This comes as Taliban officials announced the service will resume as of Saturday after being suspended since the takeover in August, which left many desperate to flee the country stranded there. I have come to get a passport, but as you can see, there are lots of problems. The system is not working. For now, there is no official to answer our questions here to tell us when to come. People are confused. Poverty and hunger have worsened since the Taliban takeover, with half a million people having been displaced in recent months. The UN warns the number will grow if health services, schools and the economy collapses. The distribution of passports will begin Saturday, initially for those who had already applied. Dramatic video release by Spain's Superior Council of Scientific Investigations on Sunday showed fountains of hot lava coming out of La Palma's volcano crater as lava streams flowed towards the sea. Red-hot lava continued to be seen exploding high into the air at the Cumbre Vieja volcano on Wednesday as it enters its 17th day of eruption. Images acquired from the Copernicus Sentinel-2 satellite also showed a huge cloud of smoke caused by the eruption, making it visible from space. Roughly 1,000 buildings have been destroyed since the eruption began last month, with 6,000 residents having been evacuated. 3.6 million U.S. dollars. That's the amount of money K-pop superstars BTS helped raise in four years after they teamed up with UNICEF to fight violence, abuse and bullying while promoting self-esteem in young people. This was made possible as UNICEF had placed booths at BTS concerts as part of their Love Myself campaign. BTS also helped promote the campaign after generating millions of tweets throughout the years after cultivating a more youthful image around the world. Isn't it? Arirang News.